ID number five, you'll see this is a really cool one. It's called shutter lag, shooting through moving object. How does it work, Jero? So what we're gonna try to do is put the shutter speed all the way down to maybe like one over 10, one over 15, one over 20 to get some motion blur effect with the trains passing by on the background of there. The trick is really to get it right and, and time it correctly. He's gonna do one over 15, I'm gonna go one over 20, and then you're gonna go on the other side and I will shoot you too. Yep. We're gonna show you the results, we're gonna show you the settings, that way you can try it too. Now he's kind of gonna burst. He's trying to get through the now. You see through the background. Is that a sign of really cool? There's a lady over there. Uh, let's see how it looks. You think you got anything? I think I got one good one. Ooh. Oh, this one is not hey, bad. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so we kind of found our spot. It looks great. And on top of that, when the train comes with the flag, it, it like blurs out the flag, which looks cool. Jerome, you've got some really cool colors. Like you're gonna go on the yeah. other side. You're gonna like. I'm gonna match with that us, sign, so yeah. it's gonna be great. Cross. Something like this. I'm gonna be in the Boom. middle, and the train is gonna be passing by on the sides. Yes. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Let's Damn. do it. Guys, I think we've got something really cool. I've got a Do cool you confirm? One. Yeah. Yeah, I've we've got, got some really cool ones. So now, on to the next idea. Let's go. All right, guys, tip number two is when you're on a train, when you're in a moving platform, what is really cool when there are a bunch of people around is actually to get your friend in the middle and have him not move. Obviously, people are going to get maybe a little bit annoyed because they have to move around him, but when you shoot that, maybe one third of a second, one fifth of a second. What's really cool is that you get that blurry movement around your friend and if he has like pumpy colors like Jerome right now in orange, it looks dope. So we're gonna try that one more time. We're gonna show you the result. Alright guys, next photo idea, photo idea number three is going to be looking up. Meaning, you're in New York City right now or you might be in a city with tons of tall buildings. So the one thing you want to make sure is, is that you look up so that you get a different perspective. Right now, Jerome, what kind of shot are you doing? So there's a very sweet spot in Times Square over here in New York City. Looking at those traffic lights over there, you stand pretty much not exactly in the middle of the street but kind of a little bit on the side and right under those traffic lights and you get all the buildings converging towards the middle and that sweet, sweet alignment. So let's, let's do it. Let's yeah, go. Make let's sure go. you don't die. 16 or what? I'm on the 14. So 14. over here for this shot, I go as wide as possible. 14 is the widest I have. And that is a sweet spot over here where you stand like right under this traffic light. So I'm going to try to go as low as possible. Look directly up. Can I see? Not bad, I can I'm do better. I can do better. Oh, good, good, good. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. You see, guys? I like this alignment. We got a new idea. I want to do it, but on slow shutter speed while I'm turning. I think I can do better, but that's the idea is to keep turning. So if I keep turning fast enough, like a dancer, that may look good. All right guys, photo idea number two is to do a reflection, but not on buildings, on your phone, etc. but this time on the car. Because cars have tons of mirrors on them and reflective surfaces. So I think this is something really cool. And it doesn't require any specific city. Any city has cars. What are you gonna do here? Because this is very iconic. So I'm gonna try to do a reflection and actually it's perfect over here because usually the reflection is even better on black cars. Oh, okay, so let's get it. If I come around here, you can see how it reflects perfectly on the car. Are you gonna try to get here. a subject behind? If possible. Uh, if someone passes behind like that, that would be pretty cool. Hey, Alex! But like I'm already Can pretty happy with Can you walk by? Yeah. yeah. Create your own luck. Oh, look, a subject. That's perfect. And I'm pretty happy with the shots, actually. Hey, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. That came out pretty good. So here, you see, it's a very easy tip. It's very quick. You can do a ton of things. You can reflect friends. You can reflect buildings, flags, whatever. Back surfaces, it works better, especially the windows or like the back of the car. But any surface will do, like white cars, yellow cabs, 
uh, NYPD cars. And yeah, cars. yeah. So try this, and let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. Photo idea number one, the one and most important that you have always been waiting for. It's a classic. It's beautiful. Zero. Tell it's us what it is. The pattern shot. So over here we're in Times Square, which is a very, very sweet spot to do pattern shots, especially with the yellow taxis over here. So basically, you have to set the shot speed at maybe one over five, one over six. For example, there's a yellow cab, NYPD anything car. Anything moving. Anything moving. Follow that with a low shot speed, and it's going to give that mix of a blurred motion behind, but also with a sharp subject. Okay, show us how it works. But I will tell you guys, it's not easy. It takes a lot of practice. The shot speed is between one fifth and one twentieth, depending on the speed of your object. So let's go. Essentially, what I'm going to try to do with that taxi coming is to keep the center of my frame in the center of the taxi. Now, it wasn't perfect. Oh because one of the cars bad, cuts, not bad. but it's not bad, it's actually pretty sharp. Oh yeah, it is, it is pretty sharp, that's pretty yeah. really good. And you want to make sure that the object is in the same plan, so yeah, that it doesn't exactly. like, come closer. All right, all right, one more coming up. Now this was a bit more difficult. Oh, it's not bad, good, good. but the taxi it's was like, going much faster. We, so. we, have, we have more lights. Yeah, there's more lights in the good. background. Like Ideally, you want to have a lot of lights in the background so that it gives like a nice contrast between the taxi and whatever is at the back. Um, if you can get some streaks at the back, that would be very nice as well. So that's why Times Square is a sweet spot. So guys, it's your turn to try. Let us know your favorite in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. See ya.